What is going on YouTube? Dave back again and today we're taking a look at another spinner. As you can see, the brand name is Prezinski. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate your guys' support here recently. I appreciate each one of you that are clicking that subscribe button and coming back every day for my videos. Definitely stay tuned. I have a lot of great stuff to show you. The quality and variety that I've been getting in is just phenomenal and I can't wait to show each one of them to you. And yes, most of these are going to go in to the giveaway pile. Now, starting off with this one, like I said, the brand name on it is Prezinski. As usual from Amazon, it came in this actually heavy duty, a Ziploc bag with a nice velvet pouch in there. This was actually intended to be able to give as a gift. And I think this company went above and beyond and they actually reached out to me. And I think they saw my other videos where I recommended other companies putting more padding in the boxes and they did so. And I love it when companies actually listen to reviewers on their input on what makes a product better and what makes presentation better. So like I said, it comes with a nice sizable velvet pouch with the Prezinski on there. It's not embroidered, it's stamped in silver, but it is still a very nice bag. We're gonna set that to the side over here. Getting into the package, it is just a cardboard style package, but it is nice and heavy duty. This would be a nice gift box set. And like I said, they actually listen to input from reviewers. They actually put foam on top of the spinner. The spinner is in a bag. If you'll notice, I actually have three different styles. This is style number two, I believe. Link will be down in the description with the information. And on each of the bags, I've done test spins on these, both vertical and horizontal. Horizontal spin on this was eight minutes and 11 seconds. Vertical spin was actually almost uh, 10 minutes on this. So it was super crazy. With the packaging out of the way, you can see this is a nice size spinner. This is made out of red copper, which you're seeing a lot of companies out of China producing. And I really like it in person on, on camera. It looks a nice copper color in person. It has a rosy color to it. And I am absolutely loving that. It has brass buttons on here. You do have these cutouts. I do not have the weight on this one itself, but it does say diameter is three inches with a thickness of 0.3 inches or 0.8 centimeters, eight centimeters in width. It is made of 100% red copper with stainless ceramic hybrid bearings, which is probably why you get that really nice long spin time. This is super nice and stable as most tri spinners are, especially when they have a a rim around it like this. Now what's funny is every time I see something like this, I actually look at it and go, you could put something that glows in the dark in there. That would make this sick. But this is a very nice. Taking you guys up close like I do. As you can see, I have tested this out in the sunlight to do some warp videos and uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, there's links down below or Facebook or Twitter. I've been posting up videos of warping on all of the spinners that I end up getting in. This one, you can get some good on there, but because it has this matte uh, finish on here, uh, it's not, you're not going to get the same same warping that you do with a nice shiny spinner. I do believe that this has a coating on here to prevent it from gaining patina because there doesn't seem to be any. I've had this for a day or two messing around with it and both the button and it has not begun to patina. Though I'm sure just after use that will wear off and it will probably look pretty damn good once it does patina. Now doing the torque test like this, I am not getting any wobble out of it at all. It is very stable. Just saying on the fingertip, the price point on this, I believe is $24.99 if I'm correct. And uh, otherwise it's probably gonna be about, maybe about 25, 26 bucks. Very economical. It is of course available on Prime on Amazon. I think for the price compared to say the the tie zest that I ended up doing, um, this blows that out of the water. There is not a, a single hot spot to be found on it. Nice and comfortable. 
taking the buttons off. I'm going to start putting this in each of my videos because I always seem to have a comment underneath how do I take the buttons off. You just hold down one, one side and twist the other side counterclockwise. As you can see, a nice solid brass buttons. You do have that overhang on here to prevent dust and debris from getting in there. You just slide out the other side, which is pretty snug in there, which is good. You don't want it all floppy. You do have the style that I appreciate where they're putting the notches in here where you can remove the bearing. So you do just twist counterclockwise. It will unscrew that ring. And you can pop out the whole bearing as you can see with the insert the insert is brass but the rest of it is actually all solid copper i have actually done a scrape test just to check that with the bearing you do have the stainless steel inner outer with the ceramic and plastic race that's in there I of course have not cleaned this and I'm not sure if you really even need to with the spin times that I've gotten out of it. Just putting it back together. You just cinch that down like that. Put your button back in and voila, we're back in business. All right, boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for hanging out with me and watching my videos and my reviews. If you guys like this, definitely click that like. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button right up there to check out my last video. Go ahead, click over there. As usual, links to be able to pick this up will be down in the description below. Thanks again for your support and hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be up shortly because I have two more from this company to review and they're going to be coming up shortly. Thanks YouTube and as usual, peace out.